all today we are going to discuss about fibromatosis gingivae which is also known as elephantiasis gingival hereditary gingival fibromatosis and congenital macro gingival right uh, so it is basically a benign that is it is not malignant it won't spread right it is benign idiopathic condition a uh, one with an unknown cause basically right since its other name is hereditary gingival fibromatosis so the causative agent or the cause can be uh, said as it is hereditary right that's why we uh, say that it is basically hereditary in nature with autosomal gene right now there will be a diffuse fibrous overgrowth of the gingival tissues as the name suggests fibromatosis there will be a fibrous growth right of the overgrowth you can say of the gingival tissues it is basically mainly you can say it is hereditary but in some conditions it can be sporadic also right now there is hypertrichosis also which is associated with this disease right this condition hypertrichosis means increase in the number of hair right right it can be hereditary it can be sporadic this condition right now the clinical features of fibromatosis gingivae it is um, there will be no gender predilection males and females are equally affected right there will be a dense diffuse smooth or nodular overgrowth of the gingival tissue right as the name suggests it is a fibromatosis gingivae there will be a overgrowth of gingival tissue which will be seen in the affected arch right maxilla and mandible mandibular arches are equally affected right in this condition it appears at the time of eruption of permanent incisors so basically this condition affects the very young children or at birth maybe because this condition appears at the time of eruption of permanent incisors right so the tissues these are only enlarged tissues are basically enlarged only there will be a there will be no inflammation no hemorrhage no uh, you can say no exudates or no discharge will be there right only the thing is the gingiva is basically enlarged there is overgrowth of that tissue right the color is normal or it can be pale right the tissue is basically firm and dense it may be pre it may prevent the normal eruption of the teeth because the tissue is that much dense that it that it suppresses the normal eruption of the teeth that it may prevent the normal eruption of teeth right it is not painful there is no tendency for hemorrhage no hemorrhage will be there right sometimes the crowns are um, or you can say the tooth is properly erupted in the oral cavity but sometimes what happens the crowns are fully covered with these gingival overgrowth so that's why crowns are fully hidden sometimes right now the histological features of fibromatosis gingivae as the name suggests there will be a dense fibrous connective tissue will be there having lots of collagen fibers right lots of fibers there and the overlying epithelium will be thickened as there is overgrowth right thicken thickened epithelium with elongated reti pegs so the epithelium will be thickened basically and the reti pegs will be elongated with the connective tissue to be very dense so there will be a lot of collagen fibers now the treatment part there is basically surgical removal of the excessive tissue right so surgically 
we will remove this excessive tissue thank you